Hello, welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao. The cost of mobile phone repairs and prices of accessories have shot up in Kumase in the Ashanti region. Dealers in phone accessories say high import charges and the depreciation of the CD are factors influencing the increase in prices. Retailers and repairers say they are losing income as users now prefer buying new phones to repairing faulty ones. Here is Lava Fans Mona Lisa from Pong with more in this report. Tola has been repairing phones for more than 10 years. Before Android and iPhones flooded the Ghanaian market, the popular Yam or China phones came in handy. The Yam phone accessories were cheaper, but lately the accessories of Android phones are expensive. Tola Point are the importers for the persistent increase in phone accessories. Tola has been repairing phones for more than 10 years. Before Android and iPhones flooded the Ghanaian market, the popular Yam or China phones came in handy. The Yam phone accessories were cheaper. But lately, the accessories of Android phones are expensive. Tola Point are the importers for the persistent increase in phone accessories. Because so many processes. Batteries, headsets, holsters, shells, pouches, screen protectors, drop and shock protectors are few accessories recording increase in prices. This has deterred a lot of people from repairing their phones. Some phone users spoke to Love Business on how the cost of repairing phones have shot up. For instance, I have a phone that costs around 1000 If it spoils and I'm supposed to repair it at around 400 cities. I think if I have used it for a year or two, Looking at the value of um, the money I used to bu uh, bought it, I think I wouldn't go for repairing. The phone when you not crack it, now make what you And then we be say even 15 cities. We say we have papa pa 20. We the are you okay? We must say we can you know 10. And the price no. We say 20. We say 15. We say 10. Until you know, until the one who is best no. Now what? We be a penny. We be twice as we need be one month. Now assign. Samuel Pra, a dealer in phone accessories, says his suppliers lament depreciation of the city against the dollar. He takes me through the price change of some commonly used accessories over time. For instance, an hands free like OPK, at first I used to sell it at 8 CDs, but now I have to sell it at 12 CDs else I'm going to run at a loss. Charger like ePower, at first it used to be 20, the original ones, because we have so many types of ePower chargers. So the original one at first I used to sell it at 20 CDs, now I have to sell it at 30 or 25, depending on the customer, depending on the quantity the person is ready to buy. Samuel does not want to lose his customers. He is therefore compelled to adjust prices to attract patrons. When they come, they want to negotiate. And here, if you come and negotiate, you want to bring my business down. So there is no way I, I also listen to the way you want to negotiate with me. Because if I do that, I'm also going to run at a loss. This situation the businesses have observed has deterred a number of people from repairing their phones. Traders are worried this will cripple their businesses in the coming years. Because we work on the charge of my maybe a Samsung A20, or Koto screen bear 
audio workman should fit these CDs, 300 CDs for a screen. The only normal one was what? Okay, obey. But look at what you want to pay and be an issue. You see, when the prices increases, some people will, will, will like to wait for some time before they come and patronize. Well, you have heard some of them give reasons why they would choose to repair their phones instead of buying new ones. Though this is a wise decision, but sometimes you just have to get a new phone, especially when your phone model is completely out of date or the phone is irreparable or the cost of repairing your cracked screen like mine is higher than buying a new phone. So are you buying a new phone or repairing your phone like mine? From Kumasi for Joy News, Mona Lisa from Porn reporting. We've got the day's latest business news on the marketplace at the top of the hour. Up next, sports.